Alrighty guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So, in this video, I'm thinking we should add something so it'll say who's currently logged in, and then it'll also, when we create an event, it'll bind a Twitter username to that event. Or, not event, sorry, post. And then the other thing I'm also thinking that we should do is maybe start to think about it so that we can only vote once if you're logged in. And that's also another thing that we should also add where only posts can be created if the user is logged in. Alright, so let's jump right into it. So right after our votes, right here we'll do user and we'll set that equal to uh, scope since we have scope down here dot auth data dot twitter dot username oops username just like that we can set the user but that also means what's going to happen then if the t user is not logged in so in order to fix that along with these post names we also want to have we want to also want to do an and 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 then do a scope dot auth data so if the auth data is not equal to null, then it'll run this. But if it is, then it's going to have to do this. You need to have this this alert. So then the other thing that I also think we should do is go jump into the main.html and then right below the span, we should put a span, or right below the button, we should put a span, and then it says that it would say currently logged in as, and then colon, and then we can do in this we can do auth data dot twitter dot username all right so now let's reload the page there might be an error which i was kind of guessing there's going to be an error but that's all right and oh i think i know exactly what i messed up on for some reason i just decided to put a like a semicolon there it's dumb all righty Let's just clear this. Now let's log in and let's see what happens. So we log in and we're good and we're good. And I don't know why it's not showing up, but that's weird. Right when I, the second time I click it, it logged in. Hmm. So the second thing we also want to do is let's just make a new uh, event and bam so now let's reload the page so we'll automatically be logged out now let's try doing this boom and then let's change it to need all those inputs filled or you need to be logged in. Cool. So that's about it. I mean, there wasn't much else I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, make sure to also subscribe. That really helps. And if you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section below. Besides that, I'll catch you guys and see you guys in the next video.